happy with all of my patchworks, so I need to do a few finishing touches. The quickest way to get rid of your guides is to go to View, Guides, and hit Clear Guides. That way you don't have to delete each and every one of them. It's pretty darn handy if you ask me. Now, there's a reason I had you keep your background layer, and that's because if you put it there and you did this assignment right, you hopefully won't have to do much with the background. However, I can see that um, I shaved off part of this because of the umbrella bit, and it's just not looking great, so I'm going to go in and crop that. If you click on these three dots anytime you're missing a tool, you can go in and find it there. So I'm going to crop this down a bit. I don't want to crop just that little bit. Anytime you crop, it will apply to the entire canvas, by the way. So I'm going to crop this over just a little bit, just because I've got that shoulder bit hanging out where the effect isn't applied. There we go. And now I've got a nice fun portrait. If you want to apply these patchworks to your background, you sure can. If you want to just stick with a plain background, you can do that as well. I'm going to select this bit up here, or rather, I'm going to make sure I'm on the correct mode to do that. But if you want just a plain background, that's fine too. Let's have it overlap just a little bit. I'm going to create a new layer. You do solid backgrounds or gradient backgrounds or pattern backgrounds. That might be fun. Let me show you what pattern looks like. It'll let you pick from these ones. Grass, trees, water. Let's just see what it looks like. That's kind of fun. So if you want to replace your background, you can. If your background's super important to you, you can leave it. I think it looks cooler with the artsy stuff behind it. But that is how you finish up your portrait. Just a reminder how to turn these things in. You should be saving as you go. If I hit save the first time, it's going to ask me to name it. And it's going to have a PSD bit at the end. You want to save that. And keep that PSD function at the end in case you want to continue working in this file and preserve all those different layers. So we're going to say patchwork portrait, not PSD. And I don't want to save this in general class stuff. I want to put it on my desktop for now. Hit save. Always choose maximize compatibility. It may ask you if you want to save on your cloud. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't save on the cloud. Now that I'm ready to turn it in, I'm going to go to File, Export, Export As, JPEG or PNG is fine. What is not fine is PSD. If you try to turn a PSD file into your Google folder for me, I'm going to be unhappy because I'm not going to be able to preview it. Hit Export. It'll go hopefully the same place you saved it before. Hit Save. And then you can just go into Google Drive. Oh look, it's the technology training I did. And you can go to New, File Upload. You can fi um, upload into your PAMC folder. Or you can just drag and drop from your desktop.